The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Loud Cry of the Third Angel And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. Revelation 18, verse 1. I saw another mighty angel commission to descend to the earth, to unite his voice with the third angel and give power and force to his message. A work of worldwide extent and unwanted powers here foretold. Great power and glory were imparted to the angel, and as he descended, the earth was lighted with his glory. The light which attended this angel penetrated everywhere, as he cried mightily with a strong voice, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Revelation 18, verse 2. The message of the fall of Babylon, as given by the second angel, is repeated, with additional mention of the corruptions which have been entering the churches since 1844. The work of this angel comes in at the right time to join in the last great work of the third angel's message, as it swells to a loud cry. And the people of God are thus prepared to stand in the hour of temptation, which they are soon to meet. I saw a great light resting upon them, and they united to fiercely proclaim the third angel's message. Angels were sent to aid the mighty angel from heaven, and I heard voices which seemed to sound everywhere. Come out of her, my people. The glory of God rested upon the patient waiting saints, and they fiercely gave the last solemn warning, proclaiming the fall of Babylon and calling upon God's people to come out of her that they might escape her fearful doom. The light that was shed upon the waiting ones penetrated everywhere, and those in the churches who had any light, who had not heard and rejected the three messages, obeyed the call and left the fallen churches.